Hey, welcome uh, to my cabin. Um, I've just purchased a grow watt um, inverter, which has a 3000 watt inverter, a charge controller and an AC charger built into it. And I've just installed this yesterday into my off grid cabin um, and it's working really well. And I'll just show you quickly, um, you know, how I did it and stuff like that. Because I've looked on YouTube and I was researching which unit I was going to buy. I mean, I was thinking of getting a Blue Etty, uh solar solar sort of in generator, but it just takes forever for anything to get uh, to Canada. So I decided to opt with this in the end. Um, even though I did like the Blue Etty, I think it was AC300 unit, but I mean, it's not even for sale in Canada yet here. So I decided, okay, look, I'll go with this uh, Chinese Grow Watt inverter. Here it is. I'll just show you. Um, yeah, so um, this is it here. So I've got uh, I've got it set up to. I opted also to to buy my lithium ion batteries from a Canadian company out west. So I opted in the end for a Canbat battery. So it's a twelve volt, one hundred fifty amp hour battery, which I put them in series to equate to twenty four volts, because this unit here is twenty four volts. So it didn't take me long to actually set it up. I'm not an electrician, but um, it was fairly quick actually to put it all together. I mean, the hardest bit was building the solar mount and mounting my solar panels and then putting the conduit from my solar mount into the house. That's what took me the longest to build, but actually installing it, it just took me, you know, probably a couple hours um, to put it all together. I mean, I, I'm going to put a house panel in. That's where all these wires are here from my previous system. So once I get a house panel, then everything will be connected um, into the panel. So at the moment, I've run an extension lead off it and I'm just powering all my lights and everything off of that until I can get the house panel installed and then everything will be up and running in the cabin. But it's working fine. Um, yeah, it's great. It, it's super quiet. I mean, one of the things I was worried about was the, the the fan and the noise from the fan because loads of people were saying it's super loud and, you know, and I was thinking, oh, God, I don't know. Do I want to listen to a fan all day in my cabin? But I can't hear anything. Um, it's super quiet. I mean, I don't know if you can hear it now. It's very quiet. I mean, there isn't a lot of loads on it at the moment, but I have had put my toaster on and loads of other things and it just the fans kick up a bit but and you still can't hear them it's great so the, the, this is just perfect for what I need in this cabin it's only a small 20 by 20 cabin um, and it, I think it'll suit it'll, it'll you know it'll be fine for me anyway um, I'll go through the settings another time but I'll just just explain it all but I, I've what what I've done is is um, I put a, um, a a blue anchor, I think it's blue anchor, but anyway, I put a, a terminal fuse, a 200 amp terminal fuse on my lithium ion batteries. I know that there is a BMS in here that will cut off if there's a surge or anything like that, but I opted to go for that as well. And I bought this on Amazon. I think it was like a hundred bucks. And I bought the cables. These are welding cables. They're one odd size cables. And I bought them at Princess Auto. And I think I bought that DC disconnect uh, from a solar place in, um, I think it was in Hamilton, I'm not sure. And then I've got my PV disconnect. Um, there's like a 20 amp just circuit breaker there that I can click off if I need to service it and everything. Um, but yeah, it was super quick to put on. I was really impressed. I thought it was going to take me forever to install it and stuff but yeah it's working fine i mean i'll just show you roughly i mean i've got these uh this light here on today it's really cloudy up in the in the cabin um but this is my cabin here it's my kitchen area and then there's like a sort of living area um and then there's like a loft type uh up here i haven't finished it yet up here but i'm gonna finish it this summer i started it with like pine TNG boards, but I just, I just didn't uh, finish it. So I'm gonna finish it off this summer, and do these TNG boards throughout the roof up there. And there's a bedroom up there. It's like an open loft concept. 
it's actually quite nice um so yeah this is the cabin i got a propane fridge propane uh cooker and i do have a, a, a two 1000 liter storage tanks on the other side which i have a pump but i can't actually use the pump at the moment because um it's not connected to the mains i'm just using extension lead so that's a bit of a bummer really because uh uh you don't realize how easy it is with a sink with running water if you got to boil everything but anyway i'll take you for a tour outside um right so that's the solar array over there um oh some chipmunks god the chipmunks just they if i'm sitting on the deck here they just come up and see me all the time so this cabin is up on a on a like a ravine um so it is quite a steep hike to get up here it's about a, it's about a kilometer and a half from the road so um you definitely get your cardio when you're walking up um but i'll just show you roughly so this is the conduit i ran in to the cabin so i've I buried it here because the quad bike goes up and down i still need to bury it up there i need to put some soil or cover it up and then i need to just reinforce the solar mount a bit more at the base um but yeah i've got three 340 uh watts hanwha q cell uh solar panels um and i've had to cut down quite a few trees just to get an opening up here because it's in a the cabin itself is in uh it's right smack in the middle of a oh there's another chipmunk all right mate you're busy um so yeah it's it's just smack in the middle of a hardwood forest so in northeast ontario so um yeah you know there's just there's just no space i had to cut down quite a few trees i didn't really want to do that but i had no choice um so yeah so it's south facing um I might still have to cut down some more trees. I'm not sure yet. It's not been really, the weather hasn't been, um, it's been raining for the last few days. So yeah, I, once we get some really clear weather, sunny days, and I can tell roughly where the sun is, and, and I might have to cut down a couple more trees uh, just to make sure I get maximum sunlight coming in. Um, but yeah, so this is a... Um, I still got loads of wood to cut up as well. I'm gonna this storage steel tent. I'm storage container. I'm gonna put like a like a, a sort of a, like a lean to coming off it, um, and that's gonna be my wood shed. So it's another job I gotta need. I need to do this summer. Um, but yeah, this is it here. So this is where you come in. That's my path. But uh, it is. For about 200 meters it's 200 meters down to the bottom and then there's like a bog on the left but yeah you definitely get your cardio walking up and down that um and the rest of it is sort of downhill out to the road um, but yeah it's super peaceful up here i love it um it's so nice up here i mean i, I don't have anyone no one hassles me the odd time people will come up and um you know they're they're on their dirt bikes or whatever and they got lost and they just follow a trail and they, and they do come up and get lost and tell me you know I'll, but most of the time you know i hardly see anyone unless i go into town the nearest town to get my groceries or whatever um but yeah there's loads of animals up here as well um with bears and deer and all kinds i mean i had a bear a bear came uh once at night time around nine o'clock uh, I heard a big noise and I, I got those, those sort of plywood things and he must have knocked one down um, because he did a shite underneath my cabin and then the next morning I heard a ruckus at um, around I don't know 5 30 in the morning um, and the bear was trying to jump in jump on top of my table up here um, so I got out of bed <laughs> Um, looked out the window and I just saw him walking across the deck down into the forest There's like an animal trail down there and he I think but I haven't seen him this season So he hasn't been back. So I don't know where he is, but um, but yeah, I've got another storage shed down there 
um, which I don't, well, I, I don't use that much now. I might turn it into a bunkie and stuff, but I don't know. I've got quite a bit to do this summer, so. But yeah, so this is it. This is the tour. I don't have a, a drone or anything to show you, uh, you know, uh, what it's like uh, looking down. But, um, but yeah, it's beautiful here. Um, so anyway, back to the solar system. Um, I'll, do, I'll do a proper run through of the grow watt and review it as well as I'm using it this summer and I'll just see whether or not you know everything works out okay but um, I think it will it seems to be fine and it handles all the loads that I use because I don't really have a fridge or anything I just use it for my lights um, you know my tablet laptop my phone um those sort of things i'm probably going to get a microwave or something like that now that i've got the power to run it um so i probably will get a microwave or something like that be handy having one but yeah it's raining now so i'm not gonna hopefully tomorrow will be nicer and i'll be able to see how much sun comes on and how many watts these things produce Right, okay, I'm going to sign off and go in because the bugs are bad and uh, i got other things to do. But if you have any queries or anything, just uh, just uh, contact me and I'll try to answer as many queries as you, uh, you have. Oh yeah, there's my storage tanks there. So there's two 1,000 litre storage tanks and what I normally do is suck the water up in, in the spring down there from the snow melts. Um, and fill these up but I what I'm think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap in 